Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of some F1 Manager 22 game news. Today we have in game screenshots and people who have seen the in game. We still don't have any footage, but we've got in game screenshots that we can uh, go from. Uh, we're going to look through a couple of articles, um, a couple of people that reviewed it. Um, as well, we're going to start with F1 because that's the link that they've um, F1 manager themselves have tweeted um, as well. And then we've got a couple more reviews as well, and um, that might just give a little bit more insight as well. Um, so, yes, um, obviously, a lot of the stuff, some of the stuff I'm going to skim through because, um, partly because. Um, we've already covered that in previous episodes, so um, videos. So I recommend going check out check out the playlist. I'll try and remember to leave a nice thing in the top right hand corner um, to the playlist for this uh, manager's series as well. So yes, uh, I'll read to you at this bit. Players control every aspect of the team, upgrading and refurbishing. Refurbishing is. An interesting word what that contains we don't know obviously um, a lot of s factories have been refurbished we redone certain facilities within their teams factories including the wind tunnel simulator which I think we knew about those two before um, as well we already know about real-life mechanics and you can see here um, it to expand on that with this first uh, so you can see here here's the menu style here you've got the home the in email inbox you've got on your know, calendar the circuits the race the cars the drivers staff facilities board finances and standings um we haven't quite got all of the uh screens all of these tabs available um so in today's video but um it's enough to be getting on with so obviously we've got all the race which will take you to the the opening race you can see here look at this visual um uh, hopefully there's a cut scene or somewhere and um, that we see but um and that's just not a bad although mind you that might just be a background thing for the staff obviously in this particular one we are alpha towering and um, i should point out sorry we the, the, they they basically um the showed the lead up to the 2022 Australian Grand Prix and I think in some of the other reviews actually showed the Grand Prix themselves um, budget caps have already mentioned and other real life regulations as well um, you can watch out so you've got uh, people like his technical staff they blurred out something here um, on in this one if you can see where my mouse cursor is They've blurred out something, so I don't know what that's doing. But you've got the technical chief, um, basically the head of aerodynamics, and then your two race engineers um, as well. And all of these people exist. This is Pierre Hamlin, and he's, is he? I think he's Pierre Gasly's race engineer um, as well in real life and in the game. So to have them in the game is good. Whether or not they talk or not, well, I don't know. And then obviously we've got the teams, the engineering team, the scouting team, and the pit crew. I imagine all of these will be generic. And then obviously we've got scout key staff, where I imagine it brings up like, um, in, for example, in most sport manager, they had a scouting department in Brink, and it brought up the stats. And obviously, are there st how, what stats these drop? I presume all these people are going to be given stats potentially, how good they are um, as well. Obviously, um, it's still a work in progress. I should point out all of that. Uh, we've got develop the car. Um, your team provides you with anything you need to develop your car before and during the season um, as well. Jump into the upgrades screen, um, which is not on the, this bottom tab, but I presume it's under cars um, as well. And you'll see an estimate of how you perform car falls relative to your rivals and how it performs in various corners all on the straights various corners interesting um, whether or not we have simulation data back um, from how the car's been set up um, that 
that hopefully we do there was talk about in the previous episode that I did about that in so, uh, CFD whatever CFD means um, I'm sure you probably know what that means but I don't know wind tunnel hours obviously which is a limit as well um, well, but you see here under finances, you've got the season balance, monthly balance, the cost cap, and also your sponsorships in this very nicely bored background. Um, season balance, seeing overall of your team's incoming money, outgoing costs, projection of the end of season budget. So that's good. And um, you can see here how much we've got. We've got eight million dollars, eight just over eight million dollars to spend. So that's actually good to see that you know. Um, it's just in case you go in the red um, which might be a little game experiment obviously your monthly balance as well might be I don't know if there's going to be stricter controls from the board if you're not managing your money so well the cops cap, cap as well we'll see how that do and obviously the sponsors will there be a grading to the sponsors probably just based on money rather than like five star sponsors for it, like that were because they had this in most football manager they had a st they had a, ca a cash value and they also had a star rating based on what your facilities were like so if you had a helipad then you could unlock the five star sponsors in that um for example prepare for the grand prix so obviously we've got we've seen some of these if you've been watch excuse me been following um F1 manager on social media, then you'll be able to see, you might see a few of these graphics before um, as well. So you've got all of this, you've got all of this detail as well. As well, Felicity's upgraded, start higher. Now you can actually get ready for the race weekend via the in game box. I presume this is under the, the rate. Again, there's a slideshow here, and I'll go through them in just a moment. Uh, via the in-game inbox, your team provide you everything you need for the weekend. Link. Information on how the parts you developed are getting on performance targets from sponsors, weather and track surface data. Um, free practice, all three sessions are available. Um, again, simple stuff there. Um, and qualifying um, as well, setting out for queen, a, cl a clean lap. So yes, yeah, so obviously we've got details about this circuit, which... Um, powertrain usage as well that's an interesting one because obviously durability pays a part to part a part to ha will have a part to play car car performance so there's all there's a lot of stuff expected strategies as well um, based on previous race dates it's something that they have in real life so this this is good and they've worked with the real life teams as well to get get involved looked at historical data um, as well to see there um, we've got the home section, so this is the home page where you get to advance. I presume you can press here, continue to advance through the calendar. As well as you can see, the Australian Grand Prix here. Um, uh, you can see we're down to fourth in the in this titles. Somehow Alpine are ahead of Red Bull. Maybe Red Bull's car's unreliable. They got Aston Martin and Williams down at the bottom, though. So um, there we go. I mean, Verstappen is third. Perez is tenth in the championship, and you've got um, these upcoming events, which is this. This is more. This is what you know. With my team, this is the calendar we got. I don't mind. Whereas I think there's there's a separate calendar for the entire. I'm going to presume there's like a full weekday calendar like you have in FIFA where you can see all the events on different days. I'm going to detail on which what's going to be complete in each day and then obviously um, this is sort of an overview screen to give you where the car is, um, who's there, obviously you see there. Um, we've also got the circuits on here as well, um, which you can just flip through the calendar and see and there's supposed to the race one race day after you set the car it's time to choose the tire strategy for the race f1 manager 22 allows the player to pick exactly when their driver is going to stop for tires like you do most for manager of course picture which tires they'll choose to with the ability to save multiple strategies and take them to specific scenarios so we got 
plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan D, E, F, G, how many, whatever, obviously, has last year on plan Z, every race. Um, tire wear, of course, is simulated, again, real track life data, although it's a bit interesting because, of course, it's how that's going to be realistic because, bearing in mind, these are new tyres for Pirelli this year so that may, maybe that maybe that's why there's a little bit of a delay in terms of their but obviously historical data will be available um, track temperature rubber curbs dirty air and the number of elements shaping how much tire wear there is so you can see we've got each of the difference we got we're on strategy strategy as C so you've got um, the pit window obviously available um, the current tyres and then the next compound and what their percentage are and the current pace start is standard um, which I guess there's there's looks like there's five pace targets um, which is to say okay call it normal normal pace I presume push pace and then full out attack mode quality laps and then obviously you've got back off a bit and then well mate back off a bit and then um, uh, drive around like Mazitwat pace. Um, yes, so that's that's the race strategy. You got notice the weather as well, um, as well, uh, with the percentage rain as well at the top. So um, I I don't, I don't know. I th I'm not entirely sure about that type of graphic because in most sport manager actually had a line bar graph no a line graph with a 3d line graph to show the weather um how much precipitation was falling and that was on a, a menu up here and um, you could always at the top in most sport manager um on the race day all the action is available and watched in a realistic 3d create recreation but you can just watch the highlights if you prefer top down 2.5d view is also available you want to speed things up so and there and then commentary is provided by david croft and for some reason karun chandok as well um so they'll intervene so you're going to hear them um they're going to have broadcast quality graphics although you can alter those tv graphics as well and again, as I said, you've got this current pace target as well. ERS settings can be overridden to help your driver defend and pass. Team orders are available um, as well. So yes, um, that's coming this summer. And I still think we're going to see this before F1 2022, personally speaking. So I'm going to quickly uh, brush through this article from autosport first i'll leave a link so you can read all of all of these uh excuse me all of the um articles as below um as well so it's this this autosport one explains a little bit more um if you've not seen the other two videos as well um it's kept up with all the progress so far um countless hours will be lost flipping between tabs there's a lot of analyst stuff. So, again, if you're a racer and you're not particularly interested in statistics, then this might not be the game for you um, as well. But this is a manager mode, very much a manager game. As I say, we've seen this. Um, we've seen this screenshot before. Car upgrades are extremely detailed. Again, we got. I haven't got any new screenshots. Um, so we haven't seen the R and D screen, um, but we have got low uh, measure. We have got here. Before you consider which upgrade path to pursue, you must learn which performance parameters your current vehicle is a leader in, and which areas it lags before the competition. That's something that most sport manager did. It had six categories, and um, basically had like a, a bar graph to show you how fast you were in each one and then also gave you performance index how fast you were in each per category out of the 10 teams here characteristics such as low medium high speed corner performance are measured in g-force then compared to the grid average or specific team of your choosing 
the same, this may be a bit of a rivalry there. The same is true in items such as great cornering or dirty air cornering abilities. You'll ha you can also delve into truck specific performance. Let's say your car is struggling with high speed corner grip. Silverstone is approaching on the calendar. With this in mind, you can commission research and development of car parts that may aid in performance of that venue. So maybe not a tree then you say, we want this and they give you potentially a part. The options are bountiful. You don't just select in, simply select improved car, but specifically front wing, rear wing, side pulls around the floor, and you can see how the improvement for each element affects car performance attributes. That's going to be interesting as well. Selecting one area to upgrade may in also impact pushing others. So um, that's interesting as well. Something that you know, uh, enhancing drag reduction, but reducing engine cooling. So that's definitely in interesting. Um, similarly, it could take away engineering resources from other projects as well. Um, in, and then of course they go on to about the fact, um, facilities will require maintenance as well. Um, you can't just make a power profile unit with only a set of spanner of, spanners and sockets. Um, is balance you've got to balance the resources making sure that the books are fine and the everything's upgrade you spend cash on a short-term car I can wait for a new t wind tunnel and sacrifice a whole season that's interesting so obviously when the new while the new wind tunnels being built you can't upgrade obviously keeping the bosses happy obviously you've got the board of directors um, like we had in most sport manager as well they provide you with a budget and a series of goals. Don't hit your targets and you're heading to your local recruitment agency. Um, there's F1 real world F1 rule considerations such as the cost comic and aerodynamics testing considerations. We've also got um, F2 and F3 drivers as well. So you can of course scout and replace as you wish. And then of course the cars are 3D models, reps lent the appropriate liveries and helmet design. So they've, it, 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 most of what manager wasn't that detailed on the track side of stuff. Um, it was, I mean the actual mobile game that's still about is a two, is always will be a 2D version. And they just created a very far away 3D version for the game. Um, obviously, Miami's going to be included so looks like they've got Miami on launch um, but obviously that doesn't mean that Coke Masters will do it because we know Coke Masters are cheapskates um, we were treated the latest Alba part layout but some of the dips in the road were away at this stage in development so that you know hope I say hopefully they a get people they, they have an open better and a closed better obviously get the people on board and then you know we can start giving feedback um, to the developers um, there are several camera angles such as TV broadcasts on board with on board camera is available with each driver um, and you can increase the rates above four but um, that does include that means um, it goes into a 2d version which is a little bit disappointing um because partly because um in most sport manager you could actually watch the 3d version in four times speed so that's a little bit annoying um might mean that you see people well, that probably means that oh well, i'll probably do it um even do less race percentages to, um to sort of pan that section out as well uh, mode push um, as well so there's radio messages between the engineers and the thing and the um, and the drivers so that's definitely something that is good to see um, you mustn't get too carried away uh, during the race week wait, uh, race weekend there are five levels of pace fuel conservation here as most can also be tweaked as well um, and then obviously we've got this ever-changing scenarios in the rain 
And then we spent an hour looking at an early build of F1 Manager 22 with executive producer, blah, 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 blah. Um, but basically, you know, we spent an hour. That's they're, they're, they're saying that there's so much stuff in here. Um, so much detail in all the data they've done. I mean, this is this is a game that's been in development for a while. Um, it's not just a simple Code Masters game that's been in development for maybe only two years at maximum. This has been years in the making, and it shows that it's been years in the making because of the how how look how good the screenshot look look i'm just going to quickly end on this one from pc gamer um as well um again you can of course a lot of this is i've already touched on um but there is this little differently they could or somebody's compared uh, what you see with f1 2021 with the onboard um, there are two major differences, of course. The first is a fully 3D high detail depiction race. It doesn't go super soft to super soft with Coke Masters, I wouldn't call it gorgeous, F1 2021 for outright fidelity, scaling down to the lighting complexity and poor poly counts, not featuring anything like the same realistic AI behavior. But it looks convincing as a TV star coverage, bolstered by Sky's commentary as well. Uh, real race radio between the drivers and engineers as well and then obviously you've got Charles it will copy that as well um, um, as well obviously they haven't got but all the build that this person saw and I presume the others saw as well was only the 2021 car design delivery so they haven't as in this one they haven't this in this build that was released to these people um, they haven't got the 2022 cars which is to be expected because you know that the last thing that the thing the problem will be um, signed off on the on the t with the uh, part of the game will be the cars themselves and making sure that obviously all the performance for that that's the last thing that goes into the game all the stuff in the background really um, gets done first because that's the way the car obviously the cars and obviously we've got real races coming in as well so yes um, I'll just leave you with this final bit um, about the, the describe the race between um, you know chipping away Verstappen's lead so describing the pace bit so that's good um, immediately clear how evident your commands are in each driver's action so it seems they've done a little bit of work even if they may not race as hard as the ai do in f1 in the f1 game they definitely um will it, this is definitely more a management game um as well so yes that's where i'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed leave a like subscribe channel and you see plenty more f1 manager 2022 game news and gameplay let me know what you think in the comments below but until the next video then i'll see you next time take care thanks so much for watching enjoy your day and goodbye